Hello there, and welcome back to this spring development course. So last time we went over using constructors. And you had some homework to do. Your job was to create a class animal or a bean in this case. I mean, it isn't a full bean, but sort of like a bean uh, animal and uh, with three attributes, weight, height, and species name, the corresponding getters and setters and the constructor that would assign them. Then you would pass in some values into the constructor using the beans.xml file and then print the zebra.getHeight or actually the animal height, name, and weight inside your application start class. I mean, I, that, that one's really sort of um, required, but you know, it's obviously you need to print them just to get an idea of exactly what you did. So anyway, um, here is essentially what you should have done. So here I have my beans.xml file. Um, I just have uh, my constructor argument as float to the value 100.5. So right here, my constructor, so float height, that's going to be 105. Then my argument double with a value 5.0. So double weight value 1.0. Um, yeah, 5.0. Yeah, double is going to be 5.0. Uh, weight is going to be 5.0. And then I have my constructor argument type Java length string and the value is zebra since the species name is going to be zebra. So then in my application start class, I just have my application context, obviously, you know, a class path XML application context, all pretty, pretty simple. And then I have my animal zeb or zeb for zebra um, is an application context dot get being zebra, which will turn an object that, you know, of the type zebra, zebra, then I cast it to animal. And then I just print out get height, get species name and get weight. And if we run this, we get uh, the height, species name, and weight. So now we can change this, um, and it will change accordingly. So we can do, instead of doing 100.5, we can do 567.7 and 1087.5. And so now if we run this, there we go, it updates accordingly. So there we go. So that is essentially what you should have done for homework. Now, there are a couple other ways to do this. So first of all, we don't actually need this type here. Uh, Spring will automatically know that it's a string and just put it in the correct place, as you can see. Here, we do technically need them. We don't necessarily need them. We could just assign the indexes correctly, but um, in this case, we do need them just so it knows which is float and which is double, but we could do it with, we could do without them. The values will just be a little bit different, so it's not necessarily wrong so much, it, so much as it is just, um, in sort of not good. There we go. So I think it's the same thing, except now it, it just goes on the order of the attributes that are defined in the constructor. And then we also could have done index, so just index equals one, um, index equals two. Actually, no, it's going to be zero. Yeah, let's, let's keep it like that. And there we go. Actually, we get an error here. Uh, what's the problem? Okay, there we go. I forgot to put a space here. There we go. There we go. So then uh, we, we could put an index here as well, but I mean, here, since we only have, in the constructor, since we only have one uh, string, it'll get that you need to put it into the string. Okay, so that's actually what you should have done. If you got that, that's very good. If not, try to understand what this code does, get it running on your machine, and then you can, uh, you can, you can move on. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, um, let's get into this lesson. All right, so today, uh, we're gonna be just going over how we can work with other you know, classes. So how can we put other classes into our class? So let's say in our animal class, we wanted to have another class like, what could we have? Um, color, let's say color, okay? Um, so let's just create a class color. New class, uh, it's gonna be color, there we go. And the class color will have two attributes, it's gonna be string, uh, color name, and then int uh, color, ID. There we go. Um, let's make it private since, you know, encapsulation. There we go. All right. And now let's go ahead and do source, generate getters and setters, select both. Okay. Then source, um, generate constructor using fields. There we go. And there we go. So now we create a constructor and get and setters. So now an animal, we're going to have uh, private, 
private, oops, private color. Uh, let's actually do, yeah, color, whoops, color, color. There we go. All right, so now let's generate getters and setters. Uh, source, generate getters and setters for color. There we go. All right, and now let's go ahead and uh, remove the constructor and generate a new constructor as well. Select all, and there we go. All right, so now we want to pass in a color class into this constructor. So we're going to have a constructor arg, constructor arg index equals, uh, what index is it going to be? Um, 0, 1, 2, yeah, 3. Index equals 3 value equals and then where are we going to put as a value well for that we would just need to create a new bean so we're going to have bean id equals uh, let's say um, white let's call it black and white there we go um Bean ID equals black and white, uh, and then class equals com dot example dot pkg dot color. All right, there we go. Let's add some constructors in there as well. All right, um, we're going to have the name and then the ID. So the name is going to be black and white and the ID is going to be let's say 56 all right there we go all right and so now we don't need a value tag here what we're going to have here instead is a ref tag ref is equal to black and white all right and there we go uh, now let's go ahead and close off our constructor arg tag and there we go Okay, so now we can go ahead and try in application start to get our animal, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do system dot out dot out dot println zeb dot uh, get color dot get color name. All right, and we should get black and white. Uh, what's the problem? Color name is undefined for type color. Uh, is String color name, get color name. Uh, why is it undefined? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Oh, no. It's back. Well, okay, then I guess it's working now. That was weird. All right, so now let's run this. And there we go. And we got black and white as expected. Okay, so this is what's, this is really the ref tag, um, essentially. Um, it's what the ref tag does. So the ref tag just refers to another bean that we have created. So if we were to change black and white to black and white, I don't know, uh, let's just, let's just do it from a capital letter. This should, in theory, actually break our application. Nope, 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 no. I don't want it on an XML file. There we go. All right, and as you can see, it actually broke it since our problem is uh, named black and white available. So no B named black and white available since this is from a capital letter. So if we change it back, in that case, it's just going to refer to it, and then everything will work. Um, so one important thing to understand is that there are a couple of bean scopes in Spring. And a bean scope is essentially just a way in Spring of be a bean being defined. So uh, we're going to go over bean scopes. It's going to be a whole other lesson. There's a lot of different types of bean scopes. But essentially what you need to understand is that the default under the default scope, all the classes, so the beans, are created even without them being called. So essentially what happens is that it creates this bean. Uh, first of all, it creates all the beans, and only then does it actually will, will we call, call this black and white. So if we call it or not, 
Either way, this bean here is going to be created. Okay? So that's really all to understand. All right, so next time we're going to go over uh, ref and uh, go over, yeah, go over ref in more detail. We're going to take a look at how it works sort of under the hood, sort of, and uh, what other things we can do with ref. So anyway, uh, your homework for this uh, lesson is just to get this working on your machine, the thing that we just created, and uh, understand what the ref tag does, how it refers to another bean. So anyway, um, I wish I got the homework. Uh, this, this really isn't homework. This is more just replicating classwork, but I mean, you know, take it for what it is. And uh, next time we're going to go over a ref in more detail. So anyway, um, I'll see you soon.